Good morning, welcome to Lower Body Friday. Good morning, welcome to Lower Body Friday. Okay, let's make a start, find ourselves a space, and let's get on with the day. So we're going to start by just warming up, just start by jogging on the spot. That's all we're going to do. Jog on the spot. Get our heart rate just up a little bit. Let's get our body using the idea it's going to be working out. That's it. Start getting those nutrients flowing all around your body, get the waste flowing out. The body's designed to be moving. Practicing there's a whole thing about you know, movement is medicine. Your body's designed to move. It has so many systems that actually rely specifically on you moving. I'm going to change now from just jogging on the spot. Turn them into some star jumps, some jumping jacks. Get those big joints moving. Get that synovial fluid flowing. It's like lubrication for those great big joints. I say, if you can't um, do st um, star jumps or jumping jacks, just move to the side. Step out. I say, anything that just gets those big joints moving. Okay, ready. Well then, I'm back into struggling on the spot. Okay. Nicely done. Okay. Right. I'm going to kick those out. Okay. So, back into leg day. I'm going to try and do four sets again, as always. Uh, well, <laughs> as always, as we've just been doing these last few weeks. So I'm going to do 10, 10, 12, and 15 reps of those sets. I'm going to aim for five different exercises that we're going to be doing this morning. So good morning, Jason. Good morning. So we just warmed up. I was just going to go through the five exercises we're going to do. So the first exercise we're going to do is going to be a reverse lunge. So again, find those two spaces on the floor, which you can use as markers. I'm going to step back to our rear marker, drop our weight down to our rear knee, Squeeze our front quad and bring ourselves back up to standing. Same again. Stepping backwards, all the way down, squeeze our front quad. If you think about what distance you need, it would be like a good stride length. So if you're going to walk out, it would be a really good stride length to get that, that nice distance. So for me, if I was doing a wide stand squat, double shoulder width apart, that's roughly what a good stride length looks like for me in a lunge. And as we bring our leg down at the back, stay close to the ground, don't touch the ground, and then squeeze with the front leg to bring the body back up again. It's all about that compression of your quad in your front leg. Um, one other thing, when, uh, when you're doing lunges, if you find yourself feeling a bit on, off balance, it's possibly because you've got your feet too close in the line. So again, just, just Move feet slightly so they're parallel. So it almost feels like you've got your feet um, shoulder width apart, but you're obviously facing in this direction. And that will help give you a little bit more stability when you go into that lunge. Right, next one we're gonna do is gonna be a goblet squat, but starting off we'll do it without any weight. So feet just over shoulder width apart. So if you imagine my shoulders are here, my feet are just down here. Uh, so for goblet squat, good morning, Mark. Good morning. We're just going through the exercise now. We've talked about the reverse lunge. We're going to go into the second exercise, which is going to be a goblet squat. But we're going to start off without weight. We're just going to work on form. So we're going to push ourselves backwards, going down into that squat position, just into a sitting position. Once you're there, you're going to squeeze both of your quads and push the ground away. It should feel like you're pushing the ground as opposed to being trying to pull yourself up. It's a real push movement. Um, and when you look at that from the side, again, shoulder width apart, you come all the way down into that seated position and squeeze your quads to really push the ground away. At the top of the movement, squeeze your glutes and you'll feel your hips sort of tilt forwards as you're engaging your glutes at that point. So all the way down, squeeze, push away, squeeze your glutes, engage. Okay, from there, we're going to go into some curtsy lunges. So again, feet starting shoulder width apart, but we're now going to pass one leg behind the other. So leg goes behind the other, drops down, squeeze your front leg, back up. And to the side, down, squeeze, 
and back up. We'll do that on both sides. Uh, and then from there into step ups. So onto our step. So as I said before, it's very much similar to like a single leg lunge, you, you, a single leg squat. You're gonna compress your quad, drive yourself into the air. When you get to the top, engage your glutes to stop yourself. You'll feel your hips move forwards as they tilt into engagement. And then back down. Then same with your leg. Up, squeeze your quad, engage your, uh, your glutes. So your hips to uh, engage forwards and then back down again. And our last exercise in our sets is going to be some glute bridges. So again, lying on the floor, feet to our, our bottoms. We're going to engage our glutes to drive our hips into the air. So as we squeeze our glutes, we should feel our whole hip girdle tilt forwards, push ourselves into the air, and as we Gently look up back down, we should feel those stretch back out again. So again, really squeeze those glutes, feel that tilt in your hips, and then slowly bring it back down. Okay, any questions? Awesome, right, so first set, as I said, we're gonna do without any weights. We'll start off with reverse lunges. Okay, so get ourselves into position. I'm gonna do 10. 10, 12, and then 15 reps for these four sets. Starting in three, two, one, and one. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Okay, from there into goblet squats. So feet shoulder width apart, or just over shoulder width. Really concentrate on that feeling in your quad still. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and from there into curtsy lunges. So leg passing behind. We'll start these in three, two, one, and one. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Okay. From there, straight into step ups. You really feel that squeeze in your quads as you drive the step away, and then that stopping with your glutes. We'll start these in three, two, one, and one, one, two, two, three, three. Nine, nine, 
10. 10. Okay. Now head to the ground. We've got some glute bridges. So again, heel to your bottom. Really squeeze those glutes to drive your hips into the air. I'll start these in three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, have a break, grab a drink. I'm also going to go with adding some weight. So if you need to get a weight ready, then do so. Uh, pass these to you just in case. <sighs> Looks like it's getting brighter already in London. It was looking really dark earlier there, Mark. Yeah, I thought I'd jump in natural light and let it. So I, I'm not a big, I don't really, I don't know what it is. I think the lights on remind me of winter. <laughs> yeah, well, it's uh, still dark outside here. We've been that few extra degrees north. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And obviously Jason's got the best part of the day already. Sun shining, blazing through, looking good. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of looking good, we've got set number two to do. How was that? Oh, I've got a thumbs up. I'm, I'm going to take that one. Right. So grab yourself a weight. Again, make sure it's a, something easy. So it's just a really light weight to start with as we go into our reverse lunges. And it's just to add a little bit more resistance. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one. One. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. Nine, ten, ten. Okay, and from there into goblet squats. So keep the weight nice and high. Really drive your backside backwards. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and from there into curtsy lunges. So feet passing behind ourselves. You can keep that way nice and light. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Nine, nine, ten, ten. Okay, now we're in step ups. Keeping hold of our weight there. And really driving our body upwards with our quads. We'll start these in three, two, one, and one. One, two, two. 
three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. Nine, ten, ten. Okay, pull the way down. Well, let's go into our glute bridges. So get onto the ground, heel to the bottom. And if you want to add the weight again, just add it over the top of your hips, holding it lightly with your fingertips. We'll start these in three. Two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, have a break, have a drink. Nice one. Ah, now it's definitely getting brighter. You're in colour now. Yeah, every minute, isn't it? Yeah, it does make a difference. Just not that kind of twixing hours, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Not, su <laughs> not surprised that they used to think these are the witching hours, isn't it, when all the magic kind of happens. Yeah. And you can kind of see all the difference in colours and how your light, um, your eyes react and everything else. So it's, it's magic, yeah. really. Having said that, you know, Jason's probably, you're probably the expert in this room on colour and light and how you can <laughs> utilise them. Well, that may be true. I'm not feeling very magical right now. <laughs> Not feeling magical right now. That's because we haven't started set number three, and we'll do that. Have in you seen the light, Jason? God damn, Jesus Christ! Have you seen the light? <laughs> That's good with the accent. I like it. <laughs> and meanwhile, in set number three, if you can increase your weight a little bit, do so. If you found that set the relatively tough, then don't do so. And we want to make sure we've got enough weight to, be able to increase for the final set. Okay, so get ourselves ready into reverse lunges. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay. Into goblet squats, keeping that weight nice and high, keeping your chest up. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Okay, and from there into curtsy lunges. So back, feet across the back. You can keep hold of your weight. I'll start these in three, two, one, and one, one, two, 
two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay, from there into step ups. You can keep hold of the weight. Really kind of concentrate on that feeling in your muscles. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Size of the set back onto the ground for the new glutes bridges. Put the weight over your hips again, just hold it lightly to stop it from rolling around. We'll start with these in three, two, one, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, have a break, grab a drink. For this last set, we will increase the weight as well. So, if you need to get that ready, do so. Good, yeah, it's, it's just difficult. difficult. Good, good. One of my aims is to get as many Blues Brothers references into our morning sessions as possible. Okay, I'm working on it. Good goal. One of my favorite is got half a tank of gas, full packet of cigarettes, it's dark, and wearing sunglasses. It's set number four. I love it. <laughs> I hate it. Right. Now. Strength 15 reverse lunges. Okay. And we'll start these in three, two, one, and one, one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Eleven, eleven, 
12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. Okay. And from there, into goblet squats. I'm going to start these in three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Okay, now it's curtsy lunges. We'll start these in three, two, one, and one. One, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven. 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. Okay, from there, we're going to move into our step ups. Again, keeping that higher weight. So we're going to try and get some more stimulus for our muscles. I'll state these in three, two, one, and one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. Okay. And from there, we head to the ground, ready for doing glute bridges. So pop the weight of your hips. Keep your shoulders on the ground, heels towards your bottom. And we'll start these in three, two, one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, pop the waist down, grab a drink. That's the end of another lower body session for this week.
Thanks, Martin. You're welcome. So back again next week. Uh, it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm away in uh, somewhere near Beersingstoke, actually, on Tuesday with a client. So we'll see what happens there. And, uh, yeah, look forward to it. So probably next week we'll do um, Upper Body Monday, Core Wednesday, Upper Body Thursday, and Legs on Friday. That's right. our plan. Have a super weekend. Yeah, you too. See you all later. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.